Welcome. Good morning. This is day 11. We are going to work on opening up your hips today. So I'd like you to come and start in a lion position whenever you're ready. So come and lie down. Take your time to slowly relax your arms down by the side body. Bring your feet towards your bottom, letting the feet and the knees meet. And then as you gently draw the knees wide, let the sole of your feet come together. Naturally align the hips to open up and letting the knees pull down by gravity. The hands may relax a little bit wider by the side body. If you'd like to come with me, place one hand onto your belly. Place one hand onto your heart. Soften the elbows. And just notice the vibrations as you breathe. Notice the hands rising on the inhale. And notice the falling of your chest on the exhale. Feeling the sensation of your body. Just taking a scan down through the body, seeing how you're feeling today. So this affirmation that we are using in your practice is I inspire those around me. So in what ways can you act today, whether it's at your work, with your role as a parent, that you can inspire others? How can you motivate other people to become their best versions of themselves. You may praise them. You may be just smiling all day. Surrounding uh, those people with love and care. So think about this. I inspire those around me. And then as you take an inhale, bring the hands down by the side body to rest. Eyes might be opening now to bring the feet and the knees toward each other. And just separate them slightly, the feet about hip fits apart. Take a breath in to reach your, head, your right leg towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, bend the right knee, place the right ankle on the top of the left thigh. You might be happy here using your um, uh, hand to open up. Take your time on your next exhale. Slowly draw the knee in towards your chest. And you got the choice to reach through the hole, holding onto the back of your left thigh. Just let yourself find that stretch in the opening of the right hip. The left leg can relax. You may feel comfortable to bring the hands around the top of the shin and if that's just a bit too much, just relax back. Anytime you feel it's too much pressure, please allow yourself to take the foot back into the ground. The shoulders relax into the mat, the whole of the spine is gently resting on the ground as you breathe. You're welcome to bring a little circle into your ankle. Take a couple more breaths in here. Feeling the opposing effect of this stretch. So as you pull the knee in, you use your uh, right elbow to press the knee away. Make sure you circle away the other direction with that left foot. And then as you come back to center, let go of your leg, place your foot back into the ground, and reaching the right leg up towards the ceiling, just bring a little, um, wrap into your leg. So right leg wraps around the left thigh. Arms drawing wide by the side body on the inhale. On the exhale, let your knees roll down towards your left side. And if you'd like a little bit more, just try to bring your knees a bit higher towards the armpit. Maybe push your hips towards the right side so you've got more space. And you're welcome to look over your right shoulder Finding that rotation through the back of your neck as well. Stay here for two more breaths. 
this is a lovely release nice gentle twist for your spine one more inhale use your next exhale to slowly draw back to center if you move to the hips let the hips come back to center unwrap your legs and let's do this on the other side. So lifting your left leg this time, bending the left knee, left ankle to right thigh. You may be here, you may be bringing the knees towards your chest, reaching through that window. You might even crunch up and hold the back of your right thigh, maybe the top of the right shin, and then drawing your head, spine back into the floor. As you encourage your uh, left knee to open, you may draw that left elbow towards the thigh your right foot can relax and you can keep still or bring in gentle rotations into your ankle joint let the breath flow in through the nose and out through the nose nice and deep calm in breath Remind on yourself of your affirmation, what you want to keep your focus in your day to day. I inspire those around me. Can be leading by example, especially if you are a parent. Now we all have challenges we need to deal with our lives, but how we react, our attitude towards these challenges really matters. When you're ready, let your toes, your foot gently touch down, open the arms, reaching the left leg up, grab the left thigh over the right, maybe pick up your hips and gently push across towards your left side and allow the knees to roll to the right, maybe bringing the knees a bit higher towards the armpit. Head maybe lifting, gently turning through the back of your neck, eye gaze looking down your left arm and you find yourself Maybe a couple of breaths as you rest into it. Notice how you're feeling today. Bring an inspiration to yourself as much as you need to bring inspiration to others. One more breath in. Exhale. Just bring your head back to center. Your thighs one on top of the other. Inhale. And then turn yourself over to the side, pushing yourself up and finding yourself up in the full planini position. Once you find that position with the hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, mobilize through your spine. So belly to floor on the inhale, on the exhale, curling round. Two more, belly to floor, tailbone up, collarbones forward. Exhale, pull everything in and to the center of your body. One more time, gently through the wrists and elbows, curling round. Coming back to center, walk your hands just um, an inch or so, maybe a couple of inches further forward. On your next inhale, let your shoulders come about the hands and if you feel comfortable, allow your hips to dip. Now make sure that you drive in out of the floor. Let your hips come towards the ground and keep pulling the belly to the spine. Just notice how it feels that stretch through the front body. On your next exhale, push your hips back. Drive and relax into your stretch. We do this again. We roll it up as you inhale. The hips come forward, the shoulders pull back, shoulder blades pulling down towards your spine. Hips coming towards the ground, but we active through the legs and then push them back. We just do one more like this. So we're gonna roll forward, hips come forward, chest lifts, and we exit to push back. As you inhale next time, lift yourself up, but lean over towards your left side and step your right leg through. Allow that right knee come above the ankle as you sink into your stretch. Hands can come either side of your front leg. Now just enjoy this lunge uh, for a little bit and just notice if you have enough space for that front hip. Maybe let your foot kind of walk out a foot or two to the side. So we're coming into an open twist. For this one, I'd like you to pick up your right foot and bring the shin across the floor. So the foot is in line with your knee, the toes are tucked under. Bring your right hand across, um, sorry that was the left leg. 
bring the right hand um, to the inside of your uh, right thigh and let your um, left arm reach up into an open twist. So you might stay here. You may find that you're more comfortable coming up here. And finally, if you feel comfortable to open up a little bit more, relax your uh, left hand down your left chin, maybe on the ground, and reach your uh, right thumb up and over, maybe lifting the eye gaze or turning the eyes down. Good, so just relax with the side body as you inhale and exhale to circle the hands back and down. Kickstand that left foot again, feel free to pad under if you need to. Now your right foot is going to st uh, come out to the side a little bit more, so here to the foot a bit wider. Allow the toes to angle out and let your knee push your line with your ankle. So you might just stay here getting a little deeper into your hips. You might want to come down into lizard. So if you feel comfortable, blocks underneath your forearms or the elbows, forearms down to the ground. You can chill and enjoy the stretch. For those of you who are inspired to do more, come on up on your hands, take a breath in. Breathe out to pick up your uh, left foot and bring it towards your bottom. Reach with the right arm as you inhale and then twist towards your front knee as you reach back, maybe hold on to that left foot, bringing the foot towards the bottom to start with as you inhale and then exhale to start to kick the foot into the hands, lengthening through that left arm and opening the shoulder. Turning the eye gaze behind you. Taking one more inhale and one more exhale as you let go of the foot, bring the hands down to the middle. Take your time to draw the legs back, maybe take a stretch here. As we repeat the other side, lean to the left and step your right leg forward. So create as much space that you need. Make sure that your hands can rest underneath your shoulders. The back leg is extended to start with. Then when you're ready, pick up the foot, tuck your toes under, and then turn the foot out so the foot can be in line with your knee. We can keep the hand down to the inside of the foot, the right arm reaches up and open. You may be coming up onto that uh, elbow to forearm and we still open as you open the palm, pull the shoulder back or you may touch down for the calf, ankle or the floor, reaching the left arm up and across and then slowly sinking down so the knee comes above the uh, ankle. Inhale into the top arm, exhale to floor back to center, touch your hands down Kick your right foot back behind you and just sink down into the stretch. So if you wish to come a little bit deeper into your hips or maybe just a bit more open, here to the left foot out. So you're gonna bring the heel out first, then the toes. You can see the toes kind of diagonally pointing out. And you can play around, maybe move around how, where you feel the stretch. If you're inspired and you wanna go deeper, go on down. So remember, inspiring others, obviously in a way that feels natural to you. Every one of us are inspiring in a different way. So if you may want to get a little bit deeper into your hip flexors today, walk your hands or the phone the forearms up to your hands. Pick up the left foot, right foot and bring it towards your bottom. The left arm reaches as you inhale and as we twist towards the front knee, we reach back and we may be able to bring that foot towards the bottom first. So the hardest part here is to try and let go through that uh, right hip towards the ground. Take a breath in, breathe out and start to kick and push your foot towards the hand. Your eyes can look behind you or you might just move down. Give yourself one full inhale here. And on your next exhale, slowly release both hands down. Bring this foot behind you. Take the stretch as you reach the hips back. Let your hips sink back, your eyes rest on the ground. The forehead, eyes may be closed. One full inhale, exhale to roll. And let yourself find the uh, seated position that feels comfortable for you. It can be kneeling or any other position that lets you find a center once again. The natural rhythm through the breath, as you sit up nice and tall, eyes gently close. And start to bring that breath in once again. You may place the hands onto the belly and the heart. Feeling into the life force that's filling you up. 
breathing, that positivity, the inspiration, the motivation you may need to be able to inspire others. And they breathe out to release the worries, the anxiety, maybe the stress that you might be experiencing recently. So breathing in, belly in the chest lifts, breathe out and release. On your next inhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Say a silent thank you to yourself for making the effort and getting down on your mat to better yourself and to inspire others. And when you're ready, eyes gently open. Thank you for joining me this morning. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that video. For more Pilates and Yoga videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button and check out all the other content on the channel. I'll see you on the mat.